Largo, the largest and northernmost of the Florida Keys, is a commercial fishing hub and a diving mecca. Good water quality and a healthy ecosystem are critical to its survival and a priority for the state of Florida. To meet the strict nutrient limits it was facing and ensure the health of the local economy, Key Largo needed an advanced wastewater treatment solution. The concern down here is the impact of nutrients on the seagrass beds. Uh, we've also recently found out there's been a solid link established between a bacteria found in sewage and uh, a disease that ta attacks the reef. We need to meet 5531, and that's 5 milligrams per liter BOD, 5 milligrams per liter TSS, 3 milligrams per liter total nitrogen, and 1 milligram per liter uh, total phosphorus. This entire service area is brand new. It's never been served by a central wastewater treatment system before where we replaced all the septic tanks, all the cesspits in the area. Um, so we were slowly building up flows and adding areas step by step. Key Largo selected the Aqua SBR sequencing batch reactor from Aqua Aerobic Systems to meet these strict effluent requirements while providing them with process flexibility that results in energy savings. We actually started with a very low flow of 100,000 gallons per day or less and we're actually able to treat to AWT standard at such a low flow and as the flows increased over time um, in the first year um, we were actually able to to divide the biomass into two tanks which would accommodate for the for the increase in flows over a year's time and we are now currently treating um, an average of a million gallons a day. I would say the benefit in a true SBR would be the would be the batch process which would be the sequence and, and what I mean by that is um, on one of the tanks the influent valve would close and you only treat a certain volume of water versus a plant that's not a true SBR, which is always accepting flow, and it's really hard to dial a plant in for nutrient removal on a plant that doesn't just treat a certain volume at any given time. We actually use 200 horsepower blowers to aerate our system, and um, by using DO and timing capability, we're actually able to shut um, our aeration system down sooner and, and more frequently and let our 40 horsepower um, mechanical mixer take over to distribute the oxygen throughout the tank. It's a, it's a cost savings. What I've noticed with the aqua plant is that uh, carbon usage is minimal here in achieving nitrogen removal. We actually use the actual strength of the wastewater or CBOD coming in the influent to, nit to denitrify. We, we don't have to use a lot of uh, uh, side carbon to, to achieve that. The standard for removing um, phosphorus biologically is, is, is around a three, and we actually treat up to four milligrams per liter. We actually take out four milligrams per liter of phosphorus biologically, so we're well above the standard. Key Largo is able to further reduce its total suspended solids and remove additional phosphorus with the AquaDisc cloth media filtration system. Until now, I've never really worked with cloth media disc filters, um, but I'd never want to work with any other type at this point. Um, when, when dealing with AWT, every little bit helps, and um, particulate in the effluent will show up in your phosphorus and nitrogen numbers. And um, we have to meet we have to meet a TSS of five for AWT, and we're we are always under a two. After the the treated water goes through the cloth media disc filters, we're actually our annual average. We're actually achieving a 0.6 in total phosphorus, and that's probably a two-year average. By integrating Aqua Aerobic Systems in Telepro monitoring and control system, Key Largo is able to optimize its plant operations by improving efficiencies, cutting costs, and reducing energy consumption. When running a plant, um, being able to monitor minute to minute, second to second, hour to hour is great. Um, it helps you know when to sample, um, when to add air, when not to add air, um, whether or not um, we're achieving anaerobic conditions, whether or not we're achie achieving aerobic conditions. The beautiful thing about the uh, DO control is that we've actually seen a cost savings of, of up to $10,000 a month in the last year um, after we've dialed the air in in regards to time and DO set point. Meeting effluent requirements and doing it efficiently are top priorities, but easy maintenance and a good relationship with the equipment vendor are significant to sustaining that momentum. In regards to maintenance, one of the, one of the 
really nice things of Aqua is the uh, retractable diffusers. Um, it's one of the things I really brag about a lot. It's, it's really operator friendly. Um, you don't have to drain a tank to, to repair or replace diffusers. Um, and it, although it's a high tech system, it's, it's, it's simple at the same time. Any large scale project is difficult, but I think um, with Aqua Aerobics, assistance every step of the way with the good contractor we had, with the good design we had, um, it really minimized a lot of the problems that we could have had. I've been at the district almost from the beginning and um, I was here when we had our old SBR plant and I saw how difficult it was to run and maintain and uh, this new plant is just terrific by comparison. Because Aqua Aerobic system is so operator friendly, we've actually been granted a staff reduction through the FDEP. Instead of staffing 16 hours a day, seven days a week, we've been granted the approval to only staff six hours, five days a week with a weekend visit. That's pretty impressive. Over the course of the next couple years, we're looking potentially at an increase in flow and population. The transition to put our third SBR in line should be pretty easy. Um, just the installation of a floating decanter and a flip of a button and we'll be online. And as Key Largo continues to grow, the advanced nutrient removal technology and streamlined plant optimization will ensure that the wastewater facility will grow with it, protecting the livelihood of the region through exceptional water quality. The health of the environment certainly has an economic impact on the Keys. Um, uh, you know, tourism, our tourism is based on snorkeling, diving, fishing. We have a large commercial fishing industry down here. Uh, it's, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to keep, keep our environment clean and, and functioning. As a local of Key Largo, um, I, I understand the importance of cleaning up the waters and the reefs and the canals that people park their boats in and swim in. Um, I've actually been here for six years and I've seen the canals actually clean up uh, tremendously um, and as more plants, AWT treatment plants come online it's going to get better and better.